Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Satisfactory. In today's episode, we'll be looking at geothermal generators. Now, what is a geothermal generator? It is a power source and it works from these geysers that has been added. So let's quickly go to the building tab and in the power one, you'll see geothermal generator. And if you look at this, you'll notice that on the right hand side, power production, impure 50 to 150 megawatts normal 100 to 300 pure 200 to 600 and in brackets 100 200 and 400 megawatts respectively now what does that mean well let's first build one how do you find these geysers that you have to build them on using your scan tool you go to scanning for geyser and if you scan you'll see we've got one there and we've gone right over there so we can go to either one so and you can see this one spits out so let's select our geyser and you can see this is how the building looks we'll just build one like this now these are pure nodes that we've got over here and once built these guys will fire up and there we go they are now firing up and working so as you can see this is the pure node there at the bottom and if we configure this you'll notice that this interface looks quite a bit different from the other ones we've got this 200 to 600 because it's a pure node and it's currently sitting at 500 and going all the way to 600 and as soon as it hits that it starts going down again this will now go all the way down to 200 megawatts and that is the thing it is fluctuating in the amount of power that it can generate now that is a this is a very nice way to get power there's literally you just build one of these and you get a ton of power but yes that's the drawback let's build another one over here and let's just demonstrate how these guys look when connected to the same network so if we connect both of these to this power line you'll find looking at this we will have a very interesting graph in production you'll notice that this thing has gone all the way up but still going up we should peak somewhere soon and there we peaked 1106.9 megawatts and now because the different ones are fluctuating there we go it's starting to fall so you don't have a very constant power supply now 600 megawatts is a lot of power that is equal to like a proper coal small eight coal plant generator but as you can see this is not a stable source we've gone from 1100 to 493 now these guys also aren't cheap to build uh you unlock them and you kind of need supercomputers for them so as you can see you need eight supercomputers to build those you need the heavy modular frames so they are not a cheap production thing to make um but yeah they are very handy to get to at some stage just adding a bit of extra free power basically because by the time you unlock them and you've got all these stuff just adding a few of these all over the map to your system really adds just that little boost you sometimes need but they really work well when compared to a power storage but that is for another episode guys if you enjoyed this episode hit that like hit that subscribe until next time this has been zombie vega Bye.